Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of x plus 2 times square root of x minus 1 is equal to 3. We need to find all possible values of x. Since this expression x minus 1 is under square root, so this x minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 0. And if we move this negative 1 to the right side, then x must be greater than or equal to This is the domain of this equation. Now, let's start by taking square of both sides of this equation. Square root of x plus 2 times square root of x minus 1 is equal to 3 and we take uh, square of both sides of uh, this equation. This square will be cancelled out with this square root and at left side we are left with uh, x plus uh, 2 times square root of x minus 1 is equal to square of 3 is 9. Now we move uh, this x to the right side. At left side, we are left with 2 times square root of x minus 1 is equal to 9. And this plus x becomes negative x at right side. Now, from here, we take square of both sides again. By using this property, a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n. This power 2 will become the power of this 2 and the power of this square root of x minus 1. Like this 2 to the power 2 times square root of x minus 1 to the power 2 is equal to by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This uh, 9 minus x uh, whole squared will become 9 squared minus 2 times 9 times x plus x squared. Now, this uh, 2 squared is equal to 4 times this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with uh, x minus 1 is equal to 9 squared is 81 minus 2 times 9 times x 18 x plus this x squared x squared now this 4 times x 4 x and 4 times negative 1 negative is equal to we rearrange these terms we write this x squared first x squared then we write this negative 18 x negative 18 x plus this 81 81 now we move this 4 x and this negative 4 to the right side then this equation will become x squared minus 18 times x this plus 4x becomes negative 4x at right side plus this 81 81 this negative 4 becomes plus 4 at right side is equal to 0 next x squared negative 18x minus 4x will become negative 22 times x plus 81 plus 4 85 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. We write this x squared first, x squared, and we split this uh, negative 22x as, we split this negative 22x as negative 17x minus 5x plus this 85, 85 is equal to 0. 
From these two terms, we can factor out x. x as a common factor and in bracket left, x minus 17. From these two terms, we can factor out negative 5. In bracket left, x minus 17 is equal to 0. From here, this expression x minus 17, this expression x minus 17 is a common factor. So, we factor out this x minus 17. x minus 17 as a common factor and in bracket left, this x and this negative 5. In bracket left, x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, from here, either this expression x minus 17 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 5 is equal to 0. And from this equation, x is equal to 17. And from this equation, x is equal to 5. So, we get two values of x. x1 is equal to 17 and x2 is equal to 5. And because we have solved a radical equation, we must verify these values of x by putting these values in the original equation. The original equation is square root of x plus 2 times square root of x minus 1 is equal to 3. First, in this equation, we put this value of x1, 17. Then, this equation will become square root of, in place of this x, we write 17, plus 2 times square root of, in place of this x, we write 17 minus 1 is equal to 3. Next, square root of, 17 plus 2 times square root of this 17 minus 1 is 16 is equal to 3. Next, square root of 17 plus 2 times square root of 16 is 4 is equal to 3. Next, square root of 17 plus 2 times 4, 8 is equal to 3 and square root of 17 plus 8, 25 is equal to 3 and square root of 25 is 5 that is not equal to 3. So, this value of x1, 17 is not a solution. Now, in this equation, we put the value of x 5. Then, this equation will become square root of, in place of x, we write 5 plus 2 times square root of, in place of x, we write 5 minus 1 is equal to 3. And square root of, 5 plus 2 times square root of 5 minus 1, 4 is equal to 3. x square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 4 is 2 is equal to 3. Next, square root of 5 plus 2 times 2, 4 is equal to 3 and square root of 5 plus 4, 9 is equal to 3 and square root of 9 is 3 that is equal to 3. So, this is verified that this value of x to 5 is a valid solution.